Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we study about Sweet Alert, which are the replacement for your JavaScript dialog boxes. So to get started, I'm creating one file index.html and let me add some basic markup here. So traditional JavaScript dialog boxes are alert, confirm and prompt. So this is the example of your alert box in JavaScript. And if I run my file, of course, it gives me alert box and alert box UI is different on different browsers. By using Sweet Alert, we can keep consistent UI for our dialog boxes. And let's see example of our confirm box. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, this is the kind of confirm box where we can choose OK or cancel. And third one is prompt box where you ask about entering some information to the user. This one. So these are the traditional dialog boxes. Now let's see how we can replace these boxes with our sweet alert which is a fantastic library so to get started we need to include jquery so i include it in from cdnjs.com copy it and paste it oh oops it should be script tag Next thing is include suite alert jQuery, uh, JS file. So there are two ways to install this library. One is through npm, but we prefer to include CDN file. This one. Yeah, now we are good to go to use suite alert boxes. Now let me create yeah, this should be under our dom ready event so to declare the alert box we use swal function and pass our string to it uh, if i run it yeah, this is the alert box basic alert box is in sweet alert now there are different examples you can see here by using this alert box we can pass heading and body text if i run it yeah here is the heading this one is the text so to this alert box we can use pass uh, whether it is a uh, alert box for success let me check for success yeah it's cool looking nice you can pass different parameters like error info warning and based on parameter it will gives you different ui so for error we got cross sign and it is indication that something is wrong in our alert box so these are this basic examples you can try now this one is for confirm box if I run it click on button return true if I click on ok then it land into then uh, function and gives you another 
alert box. Yeah. Uh, this is the example of confirm box we can use in our project where we have two buttons of OK and cancel. Yeah. Now, uh, if I click on OK, it will give this image. This message actually, and for yeah, yeah. So I got this alert box on click on OK, and if I click on cancel, I will get another alert. And same thing you can use for your Ajax call. If you click on Ajax, OK, then pass uh, your Ajax call and do the rest of the operations. Yeah. And uh, this one is also means uh, if you want to change default text of your button then you can use this example like you want to change or can cancel then just use this example where you can customize your button text like this and next one is yeah this is the ajax request they have mentioned how one can use and let me show you prompt box example prompt box is something we rarely use in our development and using sweet alert yeah, you can use this code for your prompt box Here is our front box. If I enter, I got the text. So I hope you understand the tutorial. Please stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching video. Have a nice day.